You are here because you want to learn how to transfer files between two laptops wirelessly over Wi-Fi. I know you might have watched other videos, but they did not provide you with the solution you need. Follow me as I put you through on how you can do that. Like someone who have not used computer before, whether it's document file, videos, photos, or pictures, this video fixes that. I am on the screen of the host PC. That is the PC that contains the file to be transferred to another PC, okay? So be on your host PC as well. Then the next step you need to take, which is major, is to ensure that this host PC and the receiving PC are on the same network. If I click here and then click here, you will see that this Wi-Fi is connected to a device name named GTEC. That is the internet connection name. Many beginners do not understand what it means to be on the same network. What that implies is this. If there is a free hotspot in your locality, both species should be connected to that free hotspot. Okay? That makes them to be on the same network. If you don't have any free hotspot around you that is coming from a router, please, on your Android or iPhone, turn on the hotspot. Both PCs should be connected to that Android or iPhone internet network to the hotspot, okay? This makes them to be on the same network. Just as you can see here, if I click here, you can see now that GTEC iPhone is the internet network I'm using on this host PC. The same applies on the other PC, all right? So that's what it means. So, so make sure that they are on the same network, okay? Okay, that's explained. So let's get into the next step, which is get into the control panel of this laptop. So I'll click on search. Then I will type the text control panel. Okay, the control panel has shown up on the list here. So I'll click on it. So follow the step. By default, you have an interface that looks like this. Okay. But we are going to change the look of this control panel to be able to do what we want to do. Okay. So at this view by click and select the large icons option or small icons. But let's go with large icons. Now, this gives you a bigger view of the contents of this control panel. Then locate network and sharing center and click on it. Good. Then, as you have clicked there, get to this side and click on this option, change advanced sharing settings, okay? This opens the settings app of this PC automatically, all right? So, you can even get to there through the settings app as well, okay? The next thing we need to take, do here is to click on these private networks, very important, please. Private networks, click there. Then, Network Discovery, toggle on this button by clicking on it. File sharing, file and printer sharing, toggle on this button. We are doing this so that the other PC, the PC number two, will be able to see this PC when we get to it, all right? Okay, under Public Networks, you can still toggle on these buttons, but what is more important are these options, okay? Then, click on all networks. This gives us an option, public folder sharing, turned on. Then this option, password protected sharing, please. We don't need password to be able to do this. So toggle this off. Okay. So you click on that for it to be turned on, to be turned off, sorry. Then 
file sharing connection, 128-bit encryption recommended is chosen by default. We got to click here and select 40 or 50-bit encryption, okay? We are now done with this setup. Let's now go and create a folder that contains the files you want to move to the other PC. But note, these two PCs run Windows 11. But if you use Windows 10, it still works out fine. So I'll close this. Then I'll close this. Then I'll click on my file explorer. As the file explorer opens, these are the major folders created on your Windows PC by default. So select a folder where you want to create a subfolder that will contain the files you want to send to the other PC. So here I want to work with the pictures folder. So I'll click there. Then as it opens, I will create a new folder. So I'll click on new, select folder option. I can call this laptop to laptop. So give it a name of your choice or PC to PC. Then after that, press the enter key of your computer keyboard. It's now time for us to go and um, copy if the files you want to have in the other PC into this folder. The first on the list is this picture. So I'll click on it, select copy, open this folder that we created now, paste it. Then I'll get back again. Then I want to copy a document file and a PDF file as well as Excel file. So I'll get to documents folder. Okay, so I have a PDF file here, so I'll click on it. Then I'll scroll down. Then I have a cell file here, I'll click on it. Then let me get to document file. I have a document file, I'll click on it. Okay, to select more than one file in your PC at once, click the first file, press and hold on the control key of your keyboard and then click the other files you want to choose, okay? That's how you select more than one file at a go, okay? Then once they are selected, the next step is to click on copy. Then I'll get back to where we created our folder. That's inside these pictures. Then what do you call it? PC to PC. It says here, double click, and then I'll paste. Another file I want to have here is a video file. So I click on my videos folder. Then I'll double click on this. I want to copy this video file, click on it, then copy, okay? Then now I will get back to the pictures folder, then the folder I created for this. Then I will paste this. Good. We have now have our files in this folder. There's additional step we need to take on this host PC. Right click on it. Select show more options. Click on give access. We want to give everybody access to this folder. Okay so that the other PCs can see it. Select specific people. Then, by this side, click this drop down and go with everyone. All right, then click on add. Now, this file is now created. The everyone option is now created. Then click here and select read and write so that the other PC can be able to copy it. Then click on share. Good, you can see it's showing us the direction or the path of the folder, okay? Then click on done. Now this is ready to be accessed by the other PC. But before then, I want us to know the real host name of this PC, okay? so. Click into the search and then type CMD. We want to access the command prompt of this laptop, okay? Click on this command prompt for it to open. Then type 
the word host name and press the enter key of your computer keyboard from here you can see that this my pc its name is gtech so we'll be using the gtech hostname to get to this file easily the file the folder that contains the files you want to move to the other pc so take note of that your own pc name will be different depending on the name given to it all right so now let's get to the second pc okay i am on the screen of the second pc which is going to receive the folder containing the files first thing first let's check to ensure that the pc is on the same network with the host pc so when you take your cursor here you can see the internet access that is coming to this pc is from gtech iphone which is the same as the first pc which is the host so let's take further steps so let's make sure this pc is visible to other devices so click the start menu then select settings as the settings page opens the next step you need to take is to click on the network and internet option this takes you to a page that looks like this so scroll down the page click on advanced network settings under advanced network settings page click on advanced sharing settings on this advanced sharing settings under network discovery in public turn it on click here then turn this on as well turn this on this is to ensure that this pc we see the first host pc okay all right so close this page let's take further steps press the windows logo key and the r key of your computer keyboard at the same time you are given an interface that looks like this okay then introduce two forward slashes if you can remember the name of the host pc is gtech i told you to take note of that at that point so type gtech depending on the name of your own host pc okay press the enter key of your computer keyboard this request that you type the name you say enter network credentials enter your credentials to connect to gtech okay so if you know the password and the username you use in accessing this as a second pc please enter it so i'll click here to find my own you can see here my own is godwin tech in this second pc so i know the password so do the same from your own end okay Then after that, click on OK. OK, this gives me access to two folders on the other host PC. OK, so go with users option. So I'll double click here. Then it gives me public and use it tech. So that folder I created must be available in any of these two. So let's go with use it tech then this is pictures folder on that the host pc so i'll double click on it and this is the pc to pc folder i created so i'll click on it and then select copy now that i have copied it let me go and paste it in a folder on this second pc i like having it on the desktop so i'll click on desktop or better still, I can minimize the window. Right click here and select the paste option. You can see paste icon here, so I'll click on that. The folder is being copied together with the files contained in it. Now that everything has been copied, let me open it to make sure that it's really what I have 
in the host PC that is here. So I'll double click on it. We can easily notice the picture. So let's open this picture first. And here we are. That is the picture. So everything works fine. So this is the Excel, this is the document, this is the PDF, and this is the video file. So easy and simple. So once you follow these steps, you will get everything right. I hope you find this guide helpful. Please, if it does help, consider subscribing to my channel. Here we take technology, okay? So learn as much as you can to grow in that area of interest. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know how you feel. Does this fix the problem that brought you here? I want to know that. Hit the like button for YouTube to recommend this video to more people. Please don't leave without hitting the like button, okay? Watch this video to learn on how to share files from computer to computer over Bluetooth functionality. Thank you and see you some other time.